Hello from the greenhouse at Blossom and Branch Farm. Today we're gonna to be talking about algae growth on seedlings, some ways you can prevent it, and some ways to help treat it organically if you do find that your seedlings are getting algae. If you don't know what algae growth looks like, it's when the top layer of your soil on your seedlings gets that thin layer of green on the top. And algae isn't always problematic. So if you're getting algae growth, Usually it's not a big deal unless it really starts to proliferate and take over your seedlings and at which point they're going to start kind of battling for the nutrients within that soil. That algae can actually choke out the growth of your seedlings. So you do want to make sure you're keeping that algae growth at bay. Now usually by the time your seedlings get big enough to shade out your medium, then it's not going to be an issue because algae needs sunlight to survive. But for things that are very slow growing, for example, lysanthus that we grow here at the farm, they take a very long time to grow and to germinate. And so we have to keep that soil perpetually moist and algae just tends to happen. So there are a few things you can do to help mitigate and keep it from happening in the first place. So number one is to make sure that you're letting your soil dry out a little bit in between waterings. So you don't want to get dry and hard and crispy, but you do want to let it dry out slightly. That will also help strengthen the roots of your seedlings. Number two is to make sure you have a fan running in your greenhouse or wherever you're germinating your seeds and growing your seedlings. That's going to help the air circulation and that will help prevent algae growth as well. So if you're seeing algae growth and you're concerned about it and starting to take over your soil, then you do want to treat it. So what we did last year is we used, you might've seen this video where we use cinnamon and this is a totally legitimate way. Um, we kind of tested it out and it does work. Um, it could be because, you know, there's, it is an antifungal, but there's also the theory that, you know, the cinnamon is possibly just blocking out the sun and, and suffocating that algae. Um, so what I wanted to test was whether it was the ingredients in the cinnamon or the cinnamon powder itself. So what we did was we added one bag of chamomile tea, four cinnamon sticks, and about six cups of water to a pan. We then let that simmer for about 15 minutes until it had reduced and then poured it into a spray bottle. We treated our lysanthus seeds with it as they were germinating and the results were really interesting. So one tray we treated with the cinnamon water spray and the other tray we didn't. So let's take a look at the results. The tray on the right was treated with the cinnamon water spray about once a day. The tray on the left was our control tray. Both trays were started with the same soil at the same time and were subject to the same elements. Cinnamon water. So we're going to continue to test this. Um, the, the questions that I've been getting is, does this harm the seedlings? Do you find that it's been problematic for them at all? Um, no, and actually the lysanthus that we've been spraying it on have been growing at a much faster rate. So that to me is very interesting as well. So we're gonna keep up with this experiment, but I just wanted to mention it. If you wanna try something, I don't think you're gonna hurt your seedlings by doing this. Um, the reason we wanted to kind of get away from the, using the cinnamon powder is because if you sprinkle this powder onto your seedlings when they're very small, I find that it seems to, um, to block the leaves from being able to get light. It's very heavy, it can smother the seedlings. So we didn't like using it that way. We don't have to worry about any of that with the water. So if you have any questions about that, put them below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great seed starting experience. Let me know if you tried the cinnamon water, how it works for you.